Good morning, Holy Spirit, for such a precious day given to us for our celebration. Father of humankind, we adore you this morning and worship you to the beauty of your holiness. Holy Spirit, empower us this day to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, what will you say about a person who had made a hundred promises to you and already kept 99 of them? You probably will think he was honest enough to fulfill the last promise as well. Wouldn't you? Jesus Christ has fulfilled every promise he made, he ever made, except one Old and New Testament. There are references to the return of the Lord. Isaiah, for example, looked forward to the day when the Messiah's kingdom will be a reality. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17 says, Behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind. Therefore, there is the need to understand who you are as a believer and to maintain the high standard in your life as a bride of the Lamb. As you hear Jesus the bridegroom say, Behold, I am coming quickly. Revelation chapter 22 verse 7 yes concerning the trustworthy and said true words the message is that God requires the apostle John on the island of Patmos to pass on to us such a trustworthy message. With this fact in mind, with this truth in mind, what should be our response as we hear the word of the Lord? I believe, and probably you too, does. We should live every day in eternity, in the light of eternity. I believe, and I know you should you too is of the same opinion that we should live you and I should live every day in light of eternity even John quotes Jesus as saying I go to prepare a place for you and I will come again and receive you to myself John 14, 2 to 3. This calls for action. 
and sound judgment. Because a time will come when it will be too late to change from one state to another. And so in the light of Revelation chapter 22 verse 7, with the resurrected and the risen Lord Jesus Christ declare that behold I'm coming quickly in the light of this message to you and I what deliberate decision should you and I make for the remaining days of my life and your life on this earth Are you preparing yourself for the second coming of Christ? By living by the standards expected of you and I as a righteous believer. Be reminded that the entire book of Revelation tells of the glorious return of Christ. And you and I can say with the Apostle John who wrote the book of Revelation. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 22 verse 20. Are you looking forward to his return? And are you seeking until that day to be his faithful servant? Maranatha. 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 Oh Lord, come. Lord, come. Oh Lord, come. Stay blessed. And may God richly bless you this wonderful day. Bye bye.